don't mess with online dating sites or else you'll meet other idiots like yourself on there and then you'll both be in a world of hurt in my opinion Why do I not recommend these things? Well, well I'll say that I, I have posted on the dating sites and have made uh, zero contact on there. <laughs> uh, I, I believe it's a uh, straight out honesty. The uh, straight out honesty. The, the um, hey, let's hook up, get together some coffee, some fucking around, that's it. You know, it, you know, but we need to be friends first. You mean you need to get a free dinner first? No, I'm good. I'm busy. I got shit to do. So I uh, created a profile. I believe on Plenty of Fish. Plenty of Fish. And I think Yahoo, the Yahoo ones, the free ones. But uh, it's a lot more fun to get a uh, to get the hunt in person. You know, working at uh, different nightclubs in the nightlife tattoo world and doing other things. If you have a pretty face, a round ass, nice tits, um, if we share a smile. That's introduction to saying hello and if there's chemistry, let the chemistry begin. And I, I bring up this topic because I saw this, um, I'm to glance at the uh, Telemundo or Univision and talking, the fucking single mother was talking about, um, it's hard to find a man and if he's real or not. I'm like, bitch. This goes for both motherfuckers, males and females. Transgender, queer, I don't give a fuck what it is. <clears throat> so many people would um, be enriched if they had a, uh, a partner in life that. Um, um, have consistent loyal company I think many of us would like that I know I would like that but I'm not gonna hold my breath nor am I gonna stop my life goals to be like oh let me go find her and then if um, let's say I found her what would you say well what do you do well I've been the last three five ten years I've been looking for you okay well what do you do it's like oh nothing I've been on the hunt looking for you Oh, that's pretty lame. You're needy. I gotta go. And uh, bitches will tell you that um, a lot of bitches will tell you they don't need guys like that. Needy, needy motherfuckers. Nope. I remember once uh, hearing uh, women treat them like dirt and they stick like mud. Yeah, yeah, you're wrong, guy. You're wrong. You're wrong, motherfucker. You're wrong, dude. Check out all these fucking uh, bad boys. Outlaws with hot ass bitches. And I, I'm not a woman, so I really can't understand what it is about them. But I think that the uh, bad boy appeal does uh, attract them some way, somehow. And for a bad boy to get them, it's all good. But with a Valentine's Day coming up, I don't want to see all... <laughs> it gets me when I see all these posts of, oh my god, I've only had a Valentine's or Valentine's to myself. And it goes back 
this all connects down to my other videos of uh, that we all have talent in this world. We all have something amazing within us. And that it would be a beautiful sight if we made a decision to, to work on that. But instead, uh, many of us are like, oh, but you know what, I need to find Mr. Right, Mrs. Right. I need to find someone with me. It gets so lonely and I think... Um, me, I've met, uh, met a couple women that uh, brought up the idea of marriage. Mm -mm -mm. Fabulous physical specimens. But I knew, I know that it would have been a headache. I would be in a world of shit right now. If I would have a little fucking toddler or two or three or ten laying around in the background trying to uh, work on this drawing make sure the kids don't ca don't catch the, the house on fire not only I uh, prepared my lunch their lunch where to get the groceries how many how many groceries where do I get the money for those groceries because even with me um to being a self-sufficient, self-motivated, just on myself, just to have myself as a responsibility. Um, it takes some energy, a little bit of energy, right? But um, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tap out and. Uh, Hook up with something that I feel is not uh, not right. I'm thinking what to do from here. But yeah, let's say you meet up with someone on the internet, right? You know, she says, "Oh, I like drawing too." Let's say I met someone online. I like drawing too. You like like you like drawing online? I like drawing too. I like drawing um, black and gray biomechanical with um, with pencils. So what do you like drawing? I like drawing color with uh, color flowers with dog shit and paint and acrylics. I'm good. I'm out. Maybe good for a time to fuck around, but you know she'd be the sweetest girl with the nicest tits. And I'll be like, uh, damn, 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 just one degree further, and that would that would have been it. That would have been my match. But you know, there's almost seven billion people on this planet. I'm gonna keep on working on my stuff and uh, let shit happen. Because if I don't, if I decide to say, oh well, she she likes me, she's all right, she meets. 87%, 88% of all the things that I want in a partner. I think I'll settle for them, for that person. You know, that's why we have a national, American national average, I believe it's 53%. That's the divorce rate. In, America, in California, it's 75%. And, uh, no, no, fuck, no, I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't want to join that gang. <laughs> and then the kids involved. I think probably some of the greatest horror, horror, um, horror stories are, can be from, uh, given by divorce attorneys. Wow, man, I've, I've heard some some gruesome shit, man. I can't, I can't believe it. I can believe it, but it's it's hard to um to believe that someone that uh, you said you would um marry forever and ever. 
um, cleans you out, man. With half your shit. Alimony gets the kids, gets the house. And uh, depending on how long you're married, you could even get uh, part of your uh, creative income. And me with my travels, I've met less than a dozen couples, less than a dozen, 12, less than 12 couples whom meeting them and their family thought, wow, this is what a partnership is like. And I met other couples and like, uh, I said, um, it's only a matter of time before one of these pushes the other through, um, one of these pu invites the other to a, um, to a, uh, a cruise, a long cruise, and one of them accidentally falls over the ship and collects life insurance money just because there's, a. Uh, And I can't prove it though, but I could just sense the the compromise in the relationship. The um, the uh, this is life. Oh well, seeing dudes uh, drink a bottle of a uh, Patron every week. I think last time it was a what, party of six or seven, and it took us a while to kill a Patron bottle. But we'll see. You know, love yourself before you can love anybody else. And I say hi to people around you. Don't be a fucking little schmuck. Hi. Even if you ugly motherfucker. Brush your teeth, wash your ass. Let's say a genuine hello.